Hey, what up YouTube? LGS here with another pickup video. I think this is number nine right here. So yeah, it's kind of special. Uh, another thing that's cool with this video is uh, I've begun collecting for the NES officially. Now, I always run into these games. I just turn around and flip them, turn them right into uh, Super Nintendo games all the time. And I've actually had some some decent ones like Battletoads and um, Double Dragon and um, other Double Dragon games. I don't know. You know, I always held on to my Metroid. Nothing like Little Samson worthy or anything. Not that that just pops on your lap every other day but you know um, I'm just starting to wish I held on to some of them because you know it's been like four weeks I'm running into them at like three dollars a piece four dollars a piece and I'm like why don't I just buy these and I tell you what it is I started on the Super Nintendo so it's like naturally I missed out on a lot of NES games and um, it's just the nostalgia is just not there, but you know, in watching all the YouTube sensations and different let's plays and things, there's actually a lot of a lot of 8-bit games that I'm totally interested in trying out. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking taking a stab at it. You know, um, another thing I want to say is, uh, what are some of your guys's affordable like 20 below or or anything, just anything that's not outrageously pricey. Um, cause there's other expensive stuff I need, to, especially for the Super Nintendo, I'm just getting to that point, I need to start shelling out dough for games. Um, what are some of your favorite games for the NES though? What do you suggest me picking up? Um, I'm just get, I'm gonna take a stab at this, and um, yeah, I'm happy with some of the titles I've picked up. Let me just share what, I, what I've been getting lately with you real quick. California games, whatever. Double Dragon 2. Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade one there. Total Recall. Kirby's Adventure. The Wall Street Kid. Metroid. Am I blocking the label there? And we got, let's see, I'm, Dragon Warrior. <laughs> Baxandu or Baxandu, I don't know. Baxanadu. I know no one knows how to say this correctly. How, how do you say this? Tell me that. <laughs> how do you pronounce this shit? Uh, good old Dick Tracy. Um, Mario Duck Hunt, of course. Uh, I showed you Dragon Warrior already, right? Yeah. Yep, so those are those. Um, what I've got for the NES, that's that. And uh, for the Genesis, um, I got Lethal Enforcers. I wish that was the SNES copy. Um, it's not though, and it looks like someone took this. Let's see if I can't get like the light. Damn this camera, you can't see it. It looks like someone just took it against a concrete surface and just went like this for some stupid ass reason. Everywhere, ex even the labels kind of got it. Like, there's nicks, I don't know how you do that and and it's like the scratches go in different directions like they were like this for a minute then they went like this and it's just what a shame dude fuck off dude i've never traded my games like that i've always been i have always put my game in the case and uh especially not effed up my games like that whatever though you know um and nba gm cool so i got that on snes and Sega Genesis. These are my only Genesis games. Um, I haven't gotten into it. I see them a lot as well. Not as much as the NES or SNES. Um, but I never pick them up just because I kind of. You gotta kind of pick your battles. That, Super Nintendo is an expensive system to collect for. I'm finding. And um, yeah. So kind of pick one or the other. When I find them cheap, I'm gonna start buying them. And not trading them off. I've been turning everything into Super Nintendo games. Uh, here's a couple PlayStation uh, One books that I have, and there's some there's some good games here. Sukaden, you know that's a serious game for PlayStation One. The best game of all time. You hardly ever see Madden 2000. This is um, my definitely my top five favorite games of all time. I played this for countless hours. And um, I was just so thrilled that I'm fucking kidding, dude. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Um, 
And here's another serious one though. Uh, Xeno Gears. Come on now. I all no games, no case. Got these books though. Got them in a box. Uh, someone was throwing out. So I'm gonna hold on to those, you know. Uh, for the PlayStation 2, I met a nice guy. Uh, he's just selling his selling all his games. I guess he's just done. I don't know. Maybe send him up for an Xbox. I forgot to ask him. But um, got Xeno Gears. Another Kingdom Hearts there. And Zone of Enders. He had mentioned that Zone of Enders is uh, a pretty awesome title, and I should be playing this right now, and I don't know why I'm not. Um, one of the cool things about it is you got that Metal Gear Sons of Liberty demo. Um, I was like, okay, so. Because I love Sons of Liberty. People seem not to like Metal Gear Solid 2. I like it. I like it a lot, um, and that's all I got to say about that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's it right there. That's all the stuff I picked up um, for the NES stuff. Yeah, guys, just please, like, I don't mean to sound like a total noob or nothing. When it, it comes to NES, though, I am. I am. It's before my time. I didn't. I wasn't always thrilled. You know, I, I knew. Of games back then, the same ones everybody played, you know, fucking Battletoads, um, Double Dragon, Mario Brothers, 1 through 3, I mean, Zelda, like, same thing, all the typical stuff, but I really wanted just, you know, some cool shooters, uh, and just different side scrollers. What should I be looking for? Um, and what are some of your favorites? But, yeah, I'm just doing a video again, I guess. Uh, I'm waiting for a really cool project to come out with with a really cool freaking YouTuber friend of mine. Uh, I just cannot wait for that to be finished. I think um, you guys will really enjoy it. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. OGS. Out.